Joy Lab. Hi, I'm Tanya. Today I'm going to show you how to use your Ninja Creamy to make delicious sorbet with frozen fruit. Now, if you have a Ninja Creamy of your own, then you've got the book that tells you what to do, and it says to always use fresh fruit. You can use frozen fruit, and you want to actually be able to use frozen fruit because your freezer is where you can store so many things to have on hand whenever you need them. I'll show you how to use frozen fruit and the modifications you need to take. And we'll add a bit of honey for sweetener. And half and half. Why do you need half and half? You need to have some sort of fat in your sorbet. Otherwise, when it freezes, it will be solid. It will be like a big icicle. And that's unedible. Then it would melt just to be fruit juice. Let's get started. A Ninja Creamy is not a blender. What you do is you make your mixture, put it in the Ninja Creamy pint containers, two cups, put this container in the freezer, then when you're ready to eat some sort of wonderful Ninja Creamy recipe, you take this frozen mixture that you've already created, put it in the machine, and the machine has a blade that zzz, chops it all up and makes it just perfect and delicious. This has to be frozen first. You cannot put whole frozen berries in the Ninja Creamy container because it will damage the blades. The strawberries or the whole berries have to be chopped up first. To do that, I'm going to use my wonderful immersion blender. I love this immersion blender and what's best is it's even pink. It's so pretty. <laughs> it makes me happy. This is the immersion blender pint container that comes with it. I'm going to fill this up with the frozen berries. I'm using strawberries. You can use any frozen fruit you like. You can see there's gaps. There's a lot of spaces to be filled. That will get filled once I use the immersion blender to chop everything up. I can't do it when it's frozen. I'm going to have to let this sit out and so these frozen berries soften and thaw a little bit before we make our mixture to go in the freezer. I have to set these frozen berries on the counter to let them soften a bit before I can use my immersion blender to chop them up add the sweetener and the fat and then put it in the creamy container to be frozen. I'll see you when the berries are softened. My fruit from the freezer, my frozen fruit, is nice and soft and it's been about an hour. It's ready to blend with some sweetener and some fat, either any kind of dairy you would like any kind of sweetener. This is honey. I'm going to do two tablespoons. You could do two tablespoons of sugar or two tablespoons of corn syrup. Many different options just to cut the tartness of the berries because when you're eating a sorbet it's a frozen dessert and the tanginess, the tartness is much more pronounced in frozen products. A tablespoon of half and half. You could use oat milk, you could use yogurt, whatever, just to give the fat so that it doesn't end up being a popsicle, something solid. You want it, the sorbet to be something that you can eat with a spoon. Honey. Why is honey always in a bear? container. If you know the answer, let me know below, because I don't know. All the brands are in bears. Honey, bears, why?
I'm using my immersion blender. I love my immersion blender. If you want to check the description below, there's a link to an immersion blender of your own on Amazon. Even if you don't purchase it, click on it and check it out for yourself. You could get it in your favorite color too. It's gonna be noisy here for a while. said it'd be noisy for a while. That took no time at all. Now the sorbet is ready to freeze. Ice cream makers, you make the liquid and then in an ice cream maker, you turn it on and it stirs it and freezes it at the same time. The Ninja Creamy, Creamy does it the opposite. You freeze the liquid first and once it's frozen, your Ninja Creamy will chop it and make it into the deliciousness that it is promised to be. All right, I'm gonna put this in the freezer. It says to let it freeze for 24 hours. I may not be able to wait that long. I'll see you when it's frozen. Here is our frozen strawberry sorbet mixture, ready to be all chopped up in and creamified in the Ninja Creamy. Ooh, nope, it's not ready yet. See that? My finger was clean. I'll see you back later. Our strawberry sorbet is ready to be ninjaed. Let me show you how that works. If you recall, we made the sorbet. Now we froze it. The chopping blade is here and somehow it spins and it spins down in the sorbet mix, making it edible and delicious in the right smoothiness and creaminess. So your sorbet mix in there and the lid locks on. Now you bring this up like that. Wow, I did it backwards. That's pretty good. And I think there's a sorbet button up here somewhere. I must not be hitting it. Let's see if it's ready. There's a button here to unlock from the machine and a button here to unlock the lid. <gasps> wow. Oh, it's perfect. I wish you were here that you could smell this strawberry sorbet. Oh, it smells so fresh and delicious. Now, I could just eat strawberry sorbet like this, but that's a lot of strawberry sorbet and it's a very strong taste. So it's not something that you can eat a lot of. So let me show you what happens sometimes. Sometimes people just, people being people in my family, just eat a little and then put it back in the freezer. This looks like it has some other berries, not just strawberries, but look how hard it is. Uh, I guess it's scoopable. But then you eat a little and put it back. Who can 
share this. I'm going to show you how to freeze this sorbet into individual servings so it's so much easier to spoon out the right portions for as many people as want at a certain time. We're using these gooey, ooey, gooey silic silicone half sphere molds. Craziest things, but they really work. I'm gonna do a little cooking spray. Now you see how mushy and gooey this is? You need to put it on uh, something flat and firm before it goes in the freezer. Then I'm going to use my ice cream scoop and just do a scoop of the sorbet in each of the half sphere openings. Look at that. I hope you can see that. last ones won't be so beautiful, but they'll still be delicious. This is just about the right amount serving size for sorbet because it's such a strong, sharp, tart flavor. I'm going to put these in the freezer and then I'll show you what happens when they are frozen solid. They are frozen, our little spheres of sorbet. I like that, spheres of sorbet are frozen. Now it would be easy to serve them just individually. I'm going to prepare a plastic container to keep them in the freezer. I have a freezer label ready to go, Strawberry Sorbet. This brand of stickers for my Tupperware is the best I have found. Because they rinse off in water and they dissolve away. As easy as can be, no residue no fuss. Now I'm going to pop out the spheres out of the mold, but I need to put some wax paper down in my container first. Otherwise, my spheres of sorbet, I like that. Oh, they pop out, they're ready. They will stick. And we don't want the spheres of sorbet to stick. cute as can be. In the description below I have a link to find this wonderful thing, this form, the silicone half sphere form. I use it for my sorbet, I use it for my homemade ice cream. You could find lots of uses for it. It's lots of fun. In the description below I have a lot of resources for people who are interested in making freezer meals people like you, people who want to use their freezer to front load the work so that when they want something sweet and tart and deliciously healthy, they know they can just pop in the freezer and get one sphere of sorbet, which is just the right amount. If they have people who drop over unexpectedly, they can serve a sphere of sorbet, just exactly the right amount for their friends. Look in the description below for other resources and please like, subscribe, comment. It helps YouTube put my videos in front of other people who want to learn more about freezer meals. I'm Tanya. Thanks for watching. Joy Lab. Learning done right. Learn more with Joy Lab. Like. Subscribe.
comment, share. Visit us at www.joylab.biz. Thank you.